Roy Jones Jr. versus Mike Tyson. Let's talk about it. What's happening, boxing fans? It is Dr. Bring It. Hey, don't laugh. Don't hate on the nice hat. It's there to shield my skin on my face from being sunburned. It's been a scorching 90 plus degree couple of weeks here in New Jersey on the East Coast. And we are actually about to, uh, to encounter a uh, nice hurricane coming up from down by the Caribbean that's gonna track its way all the way up the, uh, the East Coast. So it'll probably be downgraded to a, uh, a tropical storm by the time it comes up all the way over here. But we do expect a lot of rain, torrential rain, flooding, lots of water. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the weather. Here to talk about Mike Tyson taking on Roy Jones Jr. Now, here's the interesting thing about this fight. The original thought, obviously, was, wow, Mike Tyson looking awesome in these videos. These, like, five to ten second clips of him just going off on the mitts, hitting the bag. Um, Iron Mike looks nice, right? Um, I have yet to see uh, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, training and anything serious, you know, about this, but knowing the two styles of fighters, who is more of the boxer? Who is the one? I would say the one who's more of the boxer, long game, is probably Roy Jones Jr. Yes, Roy Jones Jr. is also a, a knockout artist, but he was really known more for his, uh, his ability to, to play around with his opponents and work the ring and get his jabs in and put together some like, you know, really nice combinations, right? And you have Mike Tyson, who is a knockout artist. He's out there looking to maul his opponents um, in the first round, as you know, as soon as possible. There's no dilly dallying with Mike Tyson. He just goes out there with with extreme precision and power and intimidation, and he's there to do all of this stuff as quickly as possible. So, what do you think of fifty? These fifty-year-old fighters are there to do. Um, now, I'm also hearing that they've both agreed not to knock each other out. To be honest with you, I think that is a really silly, silly agreement because Mike Tyson, he's known to be a knockout artist. You take the knockout away from Mike Tyson, what, what are we there to watch? There's nothing to watch. When I watch Mike Tyson, I want to see knockouts, beautifully executed knockouts. Um, I don't know why anyone would really want to watch a fight from a knockout artist that's not allowed to knock out people. It just seems so silly to me. And to be quite honest with you, if that's the case, then I'm not even gonna go and watch this fight. Um, at least pay for it. Um, it. It seems silly to me, and um, it, it, my prediction for this fight is, I'm getting eaten alive here. My, my prediction for this fight, without the, the knockout, would have to go to Roy Jones Jr. It's an eight round fight that they agreed on. And quite honestly, Roy Jones Jr., I'm going to assume that he's in better shape than Mike Tyson. Um, Mike Tyson, yes, he looks great on the mitts. He looks great like hitting the bag. But uh, 
again, anything over three rounds, I'm going to say that um, he doesn't have the stamina at his age. Um, and again, I'm not disrespect. I don't want to disrespect, you know, Mike Tyson at at any point uh, right now. He's definitely it's it's definitely nice to see him making, you know, being relevant in the news. But um, as a you know as as a, a real competitive fighter right now, um, I don't think we're going to really see much from Mike Tyson, especially the fact that if if the both of them agreed not to knock each other out, I see that kind of being pointless. I know that this is ultimately um, an exhibition fight, but um, it doesn't sound right. Let me know what you guys think about this. It just seems kind of ridiculous. We're, Mike Tyson is probably the greatest knockout artist of all time. And you're, you're telling him not to knock out his opponent. It just seems so wrong to me. Um, and kind of comical. But um, I'm reading news about, you know, Mike Tyson thinks that Roy Jones Jr. is going to go for the knockout. But I don't, I don't know how it's going to play out. This is really, really interesting. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if, if it's going to be strictly boxing, Roy Jones Jr. is going to outbox Mike Tyson. Um, there's not much of a height difference. I think they're both 5'10". So, you know, Roy Jones Jr. might have like a more of a reach. So he's going to want to stay on the outside. Mike Tyson's going to try to hit him with some like, you know, peekaboo style and, and you know, and, and movements, you know. Um, but I, I honestly think that Roy Jones Jr., he's also going to have the, uh, you know, the skill to be able to stay on the outside and hit him with some jabs, you know, and stay on the out. And then if he gets a little too close, you know, clinch him up a little bit. Um, but again, you're saying that Mike Tyson's not gonna be able to like put him up against the ropes and bang the body and and not go for the knockout and control himself. Um, sounds really ridiculous to me. Um, but anyway, they're probably gonna make a lot of money from this, regardless, pay-per-view uh, numbers. I don't know how many people are honestly going to pay for pay-per-view. They'll probably find it on some streaming um, streaming channel, you know, online. Not that I ever do any of that stuff. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this whole matchup. Uh, what you guys think about um, Mike Tyson and, and Roy Jones Jr. strapping it up again to show... Uh, the world but honestly guys it's a little bit it's it's a bit frustrating because there's so much talent out there but they're chasing money and i know hey i know that boxing is a business yes but just go for the big fights where is where are all the like the true warriors out there that just want to strap them strap up and 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 just you know beat everybody up like where are those boxers we need those boxers to come out there and just try to fight everybody and instead of just trying to chase money all right um, but anyway those are kind of my thoughts about this whole thing uh, let me know what you think if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and I uh, hope you guys like the new uh, branding with the new uh, intro and outro bumpers and stuff like that. Try to spice it up a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, more to come and we'll talk to you soon.